When you need to change a flat tire or do maintenance, removing your rear wheel is simple once you know how and have had some practice. Let's go over some important parts on your bike. There's the cassette, your rear derailleur, the chain, the wheel itself, the brakes, you may have rim brakes or disc brakes, then there's the quick release axle, and the dropouts on the frame. An upside down bike may make this process easier. Start by getting the chain out of the way. Shift it onto the smallest cog of the rear cassette. If you have a rim brake for your back wheel, you will need to open it up so that the tire won't get stuck as you pull off the wheel. Many wheels have a quick release axle system. Pull open the lever and spin to loosen. You will need to move the derailleur out of the way using your fingers and especially your thumb as you now lift and remove the back wheel. To replace the wheel, do the same steps in reverse. As you bring the wheel back into the frame, align the chain back onto the smallest cog. Use one hand to gently pull the derailleur back like you did before. If you have disc brakes, make sure the disc on your wheel lines up between the two pads in the disc caliper on your frame. Push the axle into the dropouts all the way until it is firmly in place. Tightening a properly seated axle is very important. With a quick release, it's tight enough when there is tension while the lever is halfway closed. Finish closing the lever toward the frame so it doesn't catch on anything as you ride. If you have rim brakes, remember you'll need to reconnect them. And no matter what brakes you have, make sure they are working well before you ride and that your wheel is securely fastened. If you have any questions or for more help, come talk to the experts at REI.